So hello everyone. Today our topic is based on the education. Me and my friends are going to present what education is and what we have learning from the readings that we that our professor provided to us. So um, let's talk about the education. There uh, I'm going to present the introduction to the education. Um, So what is education? So as we all know that from the past, like people have a mindset, like the education is just for learning things, learning from the specific subjects like uh, sociology, history, uh, um, English, Hindi, Punjabi, and so on. But nowadays we all know the importance of education. We can see like there are people who are sending their children to the um, Scandry and um, uh, sending their children to the schools for their secondary and tertiary education. Um, there is no differences nowadays. Like we can see in a classroom uh, with both boys and girls as well. So the next one is access to education. Nowadays, we all know that due to the COVID-19, we have an access of our education through the online classes. Uh, but in the previous time, we don't have the online uh, access. Um, the people send their children to the schools. Um, but nowadays we have our, we, we are like performing in our job sector, in the education sector with the access of the online uh, classes. The other one is how it helped us to be more socialized. But I think is that when we are like uh, communicating with each other when we are sharing our things with each other with the help of the name tag is education is a kind of socialized right like for now for example uh, now we are talking with each other i'm sharing my ideas to you and you are going to share your ideas with me so it's a kind of socialization for me from the readings i have found uh, something interesting to discuss the reason behind the fact that why women in India were less educated in the past as compared to today. So there are some reasons I have find uh, and there are like the poor mentality. Like in India, I, as I am from India, so what I have saw is like people have a poor mentality like uh, no women can't go to schools because of their ancestors don't allow them to do so uh, that kind of poor mentality makes them to be on the same track so there are some women still there are some women in india who think that uh, the education is not for them the schools are not for them so they are just want to be in the kitchen the false consciousness is like something like men are better than women. Um, in the Indian culture, uh, when I was a child, I have saw like my grandmothers, my grandfather uh, saying that, yeah, men have the only right to go outside the house to make some money. Men have the only right to go outside for the job. And women have just um, the specific uh, area to work and the name is kitchen the another one is inequality inequality is the difference between the men and the women so this is also a socially constructed theory uh, the name is inequality uh, how we can explain it for example uh, the same thing the women are women don't have right to go outside women don't have right to talk when the when his when her husband is front front of her something like that so these are the inequalities that women are facing in india but nowadays the rate is like de declining because people are getting more educated so uh, the reason these are the three reasons i have found for my studies so next uh, dalji all over to you thank you Thank you. Uh, thank you, Priyanka. I completely agree with you uh, that you put the point on education based on the women in India because I also belong to the same country. Okay, so moving on to my part.
Okay, so first there are two types of education. First is formal and second is informal education. So basically, uh, formal education is a kind of education that um, that occur in a systematic way. Or we can say that that in a formal education is come from a classroom, from a seminars, from your uh, like uh, your study material like books, comics, and etc. Uh, so on other hand, uh, informal education is a kind of education that is beyond your classroom. Um, or I could say I or I could say that that is beyond your the whole study curriculum. Because the informal education is education that one gains from outside the class. Uh, the foremost example is that, for example, a parent teach their student, uh, teach their children how to greet their guest, uh, how to ride a bicycle, uh, how to have their meal in a proper way, etc. Okay, so beside this type of education, while I read the chapter, and uh, while I have just a research on the decreasing number of education based on international students. Okay, so the main reason uh, why this number is decreasing day by day is the huge debt on, on international students. Uh, this may include by tuition fees that is charged by uh, public universities. Okay, so firstly, the foremost point is education that should be free for everyone, uh, no matter from which background they belong, no matter from which caste they belong, it should be equal and free to everyone. Because uh, we know that, um, because we know that, uh, uh, for example, if we belong to a rich, wealthy family in our home country, that, that doesn't matter at all, because the wealth is always stay with your family in your home country. The first, uh, moving to uh, another slide, the reason behind this, the first is creeping debt. That means a huge debt on international students. Uh, this can be I, uh, this can be raised uh, raised from the tuition fees because tuition fees I could say is a, is a kind of extra fees that that university charged on them. First, it create loneliness and depression on their mind. Like uh, the like they forget what they came uh, why they came here and what they want to study, they just have a blind thought in their mind that they had th that they have a financial burden on their mind. Because of tipping that they lost the path of study, and because of this, many talented students uh, was uh, was ignored by universities. Like university have lost uh, university has lost the chance to find the talented students. Because of the high debt on them, they, uh, because of the high uh, debt on them, they end up with university and university lost many talented students and their talent remain hidden all the way. And because of this, uh, because of the loss in talented students, this will also create poverty in generation. As I could take example of mine, like walking on the streets, uh, many a time I saw many students Many students are having involved in drugs and they having involved in gang life or they also get into a fraud site just to earn money and get off this financial burden. That is totally wrong in all way. So according to me, or I could say, I believe that education, education must be free to everyone. It should not be act as a burden on students because I am also an international student. So I can understand it's very difficult to manage your debts and it's very, it's very difficult to manage your work and study in equal way. So it's uh, my argue to government to have education in education system in such a way that, that the student can wear it proudly. They were able to wear it proudly, not uh, not being any pressure on their mind, being on their financial status, being on their loneliness, or being on their background, nothing. Education must be equal and free to everyone. Okay, so uh, this is from my side, moving to Josh Uh Hello, uh, my name is Jashdeep Singh. So my classmates talk about the education and what uh, the education is and what type of education there are uh, available. I am here for the topic like education around the world. So what is the uh, like 
status of the education around the world so edu- like we every know education is a fundamental right of the every human like uh, there are fundamental livings and choices like every human beings have the same way education is also fundamental human right to every people it is like the first step uh, into the world real world education have a big hand in involvement of our world our life changing things a uh, person can attains uh, and achieve everything in his life with education uh, my second topic is uh, like my second keyword is schooling and education are two different things uh, i will explain it to you education um, is the process of learning so most of the time when we say education we are referring to the learning and teaching process one goes a uh, through an education institution for example learning to a ride ride a bike or ride a uh, learning to uh, drive a car is also a form of education but uh, you didn't get it from any educational institute you learn it from your friends or your family uh, on the other hand school is a place that offers education to people school are established in every country and usually school are the places where child gets their primary and secondary education and school are the place where the child learns a language in a formal manner and uh, when they start their schooling they can uh, know they uh, gain uh, basic knowledge uh, in the subjects like mathematics science and social uh, social studies uh and these subjects let them understand and uh, later on their life they qualify in this in these streams in the uh, subjects so the basis for of so the difference between school and education is that school is way to obtain education on the other hand education refers to learning and the teaching process so uh, in next slides um my topic is global education crisis so what are the crises uh we are facing like being in a school isn't the same thing as learning uh worldwide hundreds and millions of children uh don't even have a basic calculations and uh and uh, they don't know what to do with their careers it may be a reason that population uh, is going in a devastating rate or due to we know very little about children that uh, who is actually learning or who is not so now my first key point is like the lack of schools the rate of the children is much bigger than the schools uh, uh, there globally children don't have basic stationary necessities uh, this matter also comes under the parents part some don't understand the necessity of education and stop their children from being educated and by any chance if the uh, they started giving and uh, if some started even thinking about it they don't let complete their children uh, their uh, greater education to the greater levels my second uh, keyword is like financial obstacles this is also a very big issue regarding the education system like some people really feel the importance of education but feel left over due to the financial crisis they can't afford study materials they can't afford to go to the schools they can't even afford to travel to the schools so which automatically hold them from even thinking about taking a good education uh my third option is like keyword is uh lack of the teachers and training now to some extent if we start letting to assume children going to the school and study but if we see the other side of the picture the situation is very worse in here because growing up the fields with the more opportunities and more salaries some people don't really take teaching as their profession and once who do uh, they don't have a proper training and uh, like they don't have the process uh, training to educate other because teaching is a because teaching needs some greatest skills of our life if you want to teach someone you have to acquire some uh, skills but the training is not that much so yeah that is all Uh, and thank you uh, from uh, our class and have a